Hello guys, this is Zuma, and welcome back to Valheim. So, as I said before, I was going to keep mining this mountain uh, off camera, and that is what I've done. It's a little bit foggy, so you can't see much of it. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we've run into a bit of a problem. I don't know if there's a height restriction, because I thought if I keep on mining this out, guys, it's going to be a massive wall, you know, I don't know, like a couple of hundred meters tall, I think, if I keep on going to the mountain, right? But I think there might be a height restriction. So if I mine down from over here, this doesn't go down. It like goes higher, if anything. What is all this about? So it won't let me, look, it's going up. I'm thinking there's only a height like the ground can be. So what happens if I take a little bit off the top? Is that a way to like, cheat the system kind of I'm hoping I can go far back because this is not going to be enough it's really foggy I wish you could see everything what I've done is there a max depth so if I maybe go like that take a little bit off the top here I know we can build as high as we want but I'm thinking more of the lines of taking out the mountain so there we go, I've took a little bit off here, so... Can I go down there? Kind of. There we go, that's shorter, so can I take this down now? No, that's forever gonna be like that. Oh, man. For science, yeah, because I've dipped it down there, so... If that's the height, that's much lower, so I should be able to take a little bit off the bottom, right? So yeah, so it's max from the original procedurally generated land. There's a maximum depth you can go to. So I can't, I think I'm going to be okay. It's where it's really high over there, guys. Because it goes up so much over there. But I think I'm going to be okay going here because it's not as high as over there, right? So we might have to be pushed out more this way I'm going to build. Of course, is the sun setting? I've took a few more trees out. We can actually see my hut now. I don't know if you remember how far the trees came over in this valley. They were like to there. But how much has that opened up? But yeah, I want the sunset. I want to see it all. So that kind of helps us if we're going to be moving over here so that I can move more of this. And it looks like I'm probably going to have my base facing this way. We've taken all this out. So, yeah, there's a max height on the procedurally generated land. you got to watch out. So, the fact that that's going up there, I could probably enclose it. And this is just going to be my uh, kiln and smelting area, which it kind of goes, right? Maybe if I uh, try and make it look a bit more natural. I could um, put these stones in here. Just pile loads of stones up. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, I guess they're floating now. That could be the quarry area, and then if this goes down, I wonder how far I'll be able to go. Is this for science? Oh, it's for science. I want to start building soon. Guys, I have nowhere to sleep in this area. Of course, I can always go back to my base using the portal, but I don't even have a home here yet. I've got an ocean retreat. That's it. We call it the ocean retreat. It's just a little... Little place on the ocean. That is it. I want a proper house where I can have a brewery, a proper bedroom, lots of storage. So I need to make sure all this is in line. Let's see how far I can go back. Because this isn't as high. Look at that. That's nothing compared to the way over there. So I think if I may if I utilize probably from here going forward. This is what's going to be on my base area, which, yeah, it's not where I originally planned, but it's okay. We've got to adapt, right? And uh, let's just take all this. But yeah, guys, welcome back. For those watching on it, Zoom Rupler, do leave a like rate and hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you're watching both this series and the multiplayer series that we've got going on as well. That's a lot of fun. Really looking forward to seeing what you guys are building over there. Oh, also, if you don't want to play on that Valheim server, 
of course, we've got Seven Days to Die, the Forest and Dead Side servers as well. But if you want to play on the Valheim server, if you are a Twitch sub, a YouTube member, part of Discord, uh, part of uh, Discord Nitro Boost, or part of the Patreon server between above, you can join that server. Just make sure whatever you support me on is connected to Discord, and all the information is pinned in the game servers. All right. So, confirmed. I guess we can keep going down like that, which means I've got a lot more flat space. As long as the height... Is it going down? That's oh, because I'm not fully flat here, is it? I'm not in the same flatness as this, I guess. So you can sort that out. Man. It takes so much stamina. Stamina regen needs to be boosted on this, man. Oh, you, you need running. Speed and stamina drain when running. But then you need maybe a stamina bar or the run replenishes your stamina bar faster. There's nothing that does that. Is there one like maybe using tools? Yeah, so there isn't one for the... The hoe is there, so the more you use the hoe, the less stamina is. Well, that's generally the same with everything, right? Oh, is it just more damage? Axe damage. I thought it was, um, you get a bit more stamina as well. Or it takes less stamina off you. That's just all damage. Tell how much I've used the pole arms and the swords and used the knives, spears. I've been hitting everything with my axe. So I'm probably worth going for the, uh, battle axe then, right? The iron battle axe. Is that going to be my final weapon? There we go. So that's... I think that's all nice and flat. Yeah, and I went about as far as I can over here. So we're going to be able to go a little bit more, but then it does go steep as soon as we hit the snow biome there. So I'm going to have a little bit of space. All right, I guess I could move up and then build with the slope of the mountain, right? Will this be a Zuma? Let's play like the forest. Yeah, there. this is going up on uh, my second channel, Zuma Upload. Um, fine, so that's confirmed then. I just need to knock all that out. Which is going to be a bit of a ball ache now. Right, let's sleep. Because I think my stamina drains more at night when you're cold, right? This is the thing. I have to keep on going back here. Sleep at my other place. I know it's not that far, but... Be nice to have something to call my home on this side. There we go. Oh, we have a problem with the workbench as well. I'll show you guys that. And as I didn't want to use any of my gold on the other side, I was looking at the cultivator. Day 68. Uh, a farming tool for tiling or tilling soil. Tilling. And you can bring grass back with that. Or you plant grass, but it just shows up really quickly. And it takes a little bit of gold. You can find it. The cultivator. There we go. Oh, bronze. It takes a little bit of bronze. So instead of using... Is there gold in this? <laughs> uh, it takes a little bit of bronze. So instead of me obviously using the stuff where I actually need to... I need to store it on the other side because we can't take it with us, can we? But we can take the tools with us. I decided to use some of my bars that are here. Which I've still got a little bit. So anything I need to craft, I'll come back here and use up all these before I use stuff on this side. But yeah, look at this. I won't be able to use my workbench, I don't think. I don't know what's changed. There has been a little patch. Uh, it sorted out a dupe exploit. But station is too exposed now. So nothing has changed. Absolutely nothing from last time. But look, the forge, the forge is fine. So I don't know what's up with this. It makes me think I need to just put a, like, I don't know, something like there, like that. And then it'll work. Yeah, of, of course. What does that have to keep doing? I don't like that, though. <laughs> just have to keep pointing it up when I want to use it. All right. My hut is going to be facing, or my base is going to be facing that way. Uh, am I building it here? I guess it's going to be a lot bigger than this. Let me just move a little bit of this. 
Man, I've been doing this so much. <laughs> I'm doing a lot better though. I know the width that I can smack so I can get the most out of each X strike, I guess. One more. That sorts that out. Make sure we're on the level ground that we actually want. This is actually playing ball. This is nice. Kind of. I might have to just take this bit out. Oh. Oh, you got me. No way. Is that too high? And I guess when I smack this, it's just going to go higher. Oh, man. That's as far as I can go. What have I done here now? Get out of here. All right. That's about as far as I can go. Oh, man. I thought I'd be able to go into it a bit more than that. But then it does slope down, so I'll, I think I'll be able to push further out there. But it's not the massive village that I wanted. I guess this is just my base. And then obviously we're going to have the farm down there, then the dock, and then paths going probably to all that. I've got to stop thinking that. I need to make all this flat because we can build on different levels, can't we? Oh, man. I thought I'd, oh, I thought I'd be able to uh, mine all this out. I wonder why that is then. Why is there a height restriction on how much you can mine from the original procedurally generated level? It's like, in Minecraft, imagine only being able to go 14 blocks down. Or build for, like, yeah, it's, it's a bit strange. Oh, sh thank God that slopes a little bit. That's what I was worried about. That's going to get me. I'll mine from here and it'll fall down, I think. <laughs> no sound effects or anything to say that's fallen. It might be something that they change in the future. Where'd you come from? Come on, let's go down a little bit more here. Yeah, that's nothing. So I think this, because it goes down a little bit from there to there, maybe this bit will flatten out, which I think it has done, hasn't it? Yeah. So literally that, pretty much, that's too much, but that one is perfect, where it goes down a little bit. This is all close. <laughs> Can actually go a little bit wider than that, I think. There we go. Right. Do I need to put down the grass first and then build on top of it? Or can I put the grass down after I've built it? Definitely going to be using the colour of it. Oh, yeah. We can uh, probably flatten all that out. You 
think grass down first. a bit strange there. Right. Oh, that's sorted. Right, so I can move all that. Can I fix that? There we go, that's better. Whoa! Well, save scares the hell out of me. Nearly full. Is that it? Noise. Oh, nearly enough to put another one down. I think I can just have that loads of rocks going all the way around so it merges in. Okay. Uh, it's just a shame it's not a bit more space because I'd like to put that far in the corner, but I guess I can't. Um, unless I have it all going, raising up a little bit. I will sort that out there. Right. So it's, how much more of that can I take off? It's, it's going to be about the same as that, right? Okay. The cultivator. Plant carrots, fir sapling, pine sapling, or beech sapling. We can get the carrot seeds. I've never actually seen carrots grow, though. Can you pick carrots up off the ground naturally? Cultivate. Oh, it's like... Oh, it's like, there's like a little fence there. <gasps> okay. So I guess if I wanted to just go back to normal soil, I can just go like that, right? Then if I wanted to go to grass. You don't have to wait till it grows. <laughs> and then go like that. Oh, man. Cool. The cult of it. I'm going to I think I might put down a farm now. How much carrot seeds have we got? Let's go through. I've been picking carrot seeds. I mean, I'm a hoarder. I pick up everything. I've got to have loads of carrot seeds. All right, we're building a farm. Building a farm before I build my house. Is this weird? <laughs> it's not like I'd, I can't come back here and sleep or anything like that, is it? I'm not exactly homeless, but... All right, 33 seeds. What's the some of the other stuff? Fir cone and beech seeds. Can I plant an ancient tree? I'm taking everything now. Taking some of them as well. Oh, the trader. Soon. Oh. Queen bee. I think I've got one over there as well. I need to put down some honey, uh, some beehives. Be nice to have some honey. Yeah, let's do that as well. I can put that around the farm, maybe. <sighs> it's exciting. Yeah, the, the hut and the building area where I'm going to put the hut is all a little bit weird right now. The elevation is strange. I have to dig out more of the mountain and it's a bit of a battle here. But looking down there, we've got a beautiful spot for a farm. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you won't believe how much trees I chopped down, how many stumps I got rid of. Guys, the forest was up to here, I think. All the way up to here. You couldn't even see that hut. So I've got a little bit of wood stored down there. Ah, oh, and uh, it was a little bit choppy last night, and I think my boat disappeared. Oh, those little grey dwarfs got in it, and are now joyriding around here somewhere. <laughs> I think it got destroyed. 
So is there any way to stop that from happening? I'll just see if there's any materials. Oh yeah, there's... I don't think I had anything in it, but... Huh. Maybe they took it for a ride. I'm probably going to get a little bit hurt here. Oh no, we're good. Alright, a farm. So, can we just flatten this bit out? First. Um, flatten it to this. That's that that will do. Um <laughs> I think. That's better. Oh. Dandelion. There we go, and then we need to use cultivate. You need a way bigger area than this? Well, I can only plant a few. I've never planted seed this these things before. Use carrot seed on what? Uh Okay. Do I need like a pouch or something to put them in? Do you right click? If you plant them too close together, they die. Oh, right. Oh, how big is this farm going to have to be? It just looks like a nice little area. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll make it a little bit bigger then. Uh... Oh, cresting station. Okay, game. And we need a little bit of wood. That's fine. Uh, why didn't I store all this before? Oh, my house is right there. And I believe I took everything out of here. Nice. Store some of this stuff first. I keep the seeds on me. That's the most of the weight, right? Yeah, there we go. Ah, right, yeah, we go. I thought it was for harvesting. Oh, yeah. That's why I did that, so that I can go and grab these. Uh, yeah, I got the 50 wood. So it's going to have to be a bigger area then, huh? That doesn't look flat now. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. I'll take the wood. Thank you. Level. It's free to put down everything in it. The, uh, yeah, to cultivate. It's free. You know, I have to mess around with fertilizer or get soil from somewhere or anything like that. Oh, if you've been following my med medieval dynasty playthrough, you'll, you'll know the grind. Oh, yeah, we need to replace, repair the hoe again. Uh, so it's not liking that bit to flatten. I want it to be a square. That's it. Is that flat? Some of it is. Having to place crafting benches everywhere seems a bit inconvenient. Yeah, it is a little bit. Uh, right. I'm going to I'm gonna have to maybe mine some of that out.
minute will flatten, I think. I still want it to be a square. There we go, we're nearly there, I think. I can see it. Maybe this bit. Right, at least I can repair it in this little hut here. Is that going to be enough to plant 30 seeds? How many, how many was it we had? 33. Oh, a few more trees cut off and I think we will have that sunset. There we go, that'll do. It's way more than I need now. As <laughs> someone before says, you're gonna need, you need to be way bigger than that. Never ate a carrot before in this game. It's good food. There we go. Let's get it flattened. There we go, we got it. Carrots contain bars? Wait, wait, what's that in it? Is that in Minecraft? I haven't played Minecraft in six years, but... Oh no, is that... I can't remember. Do you have like a carrot on a stick or something for the, the pig to go? No? Am I just making that up? <laughs> I'm getting like weird flashbacks. <laughs> right, so if I'm following this, I don't know if I like the way that they've done... The way they've done that. The, uh, the fence. Alright. Cultivate. Uh, math, thank you for following. That's close. straight down to there so it's nearly a square it looks kind of flat let's go and sleep we'll build the fence plant the stuff we'll plant the carrots oh yeah fire fire yeah I don't think I'm gonna I don't really like that fence design too much I'll make mine that's a little bit cleaner, I think. Oh, the morning. 